Impact Wrestling TNA's Destination X is this Sunday, and it's not really a match being updated, but a whole section of the tournament, of the card, to, to be said. And it's all about the X Division Championship, with it being vacated just a few hours ago, actually. They have made it an actual tournament instead of the straight-up Ultimate X match, and it just confuses me, but it gives a lot more opportunity to begin with. Even though there's only seven already named, they're probably going to have an eighth person made last minute. But, last week we saw Sanjay Dutt and Rashad Cameron, the dude with the biggest afro in the fucking world, be a part of the tournament. Now, Zima Ion, Kid Cash, and Doug Williams were, were randomly, I don't know why TNA did this, but... They were added by default, and they said they qualify by default, which makes no fucking sense because they were not even booked, unless they were. It was explosion matches, and I am not in the know. But from where it stands, they had these three people, which, to be honest, they do deserve a chance at the title. But at the same time, you don't just fucking qualify them right away, so that's kind of worthless. Unlike tonight, where we saw. Flip Castanova, which who I think is uh, Flip Kendrick from a lot of indie promotions all across the world, and this guy is amazing. One of the first times I've seen this guy actually was last was tonight, and this guy impressed me. With all the moves he did, who was he facing? Oh yeah, Barry Darso's son, Dakota Darso. Otherwise, and that, that name is probably familiar to you people because he's the son of technically the son of Repo Man. Or, I don't remember which one, but Axe or Smash of Demolition. I think it's Smash. I'm not totally sure, though. And he did pretty good as well, but he did not get the win. As Flip Casanova not only made himself bleed, but fucking flipped around the ring everywhere and impressed the entire audience, or lack thereof, because they never can fill in, um, the impact zone to begin with. But this man really impressed me. And if anything, he has a great chance of winning this match. This whole tournament, the whole thing. And speaking of that, Flip Kurt, Kurt Casanova actually kind of reminded me of Kenny King. But what we didn't know is earlier that is later that night we would have the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion Kenny King in a TNA ring, which is really weird now that you think about it, because he's a, he, I think he's still currently the Tag Team Champion. Uh, uh, what's his name? Rahab. I don't fucking remember his name, but I do remember the tag name. The all Not Express, which has been really impressive Ring Honor, recently defeating uh, the world's greatest tag teams, Charlie Haas, Shelton, Benjamin, for the belts. And it's really amazing that they would, I don't know how many strings they had to go through and how many strings they had to pull, but to have Kenny fucking King in TNA and in this tournament is amazing. The man knows what he's doing. The man reminds me of Caprice Coleman in a way. I don't know why, he just does. But it's amazing to me that they have Kenny King, the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, in there. Now, if only they can get his tag team partner. What the fuck? Who the fuck was his tag team partner? I don't even remember. That's the sad thing. I don't even remember his name. <laughs> But it's amazing that freaking Kenny King, of all people, is in this tournament. That is a huge cue for TNA. And if anything, I can see him winning this whole thing. I can... It's really not that... Oh, there he is. Rhett Titus. That's who I was thinking of. But yeah. Kenny King, of all people. <laughs> because I remember a time where TNA and Ring of Honor had talent exchanges as a lot over the years, but then they stop that for some reason because TNA is a fucking douche. But then again, you have Jim Cornette running Ring of Honor, so go figure, it's douche on douche on that point. It's Jeff Jarrett and Jim Cornette, and there's a whole backstory on that. All you need is fucking Kenny Bolin, and that's, you know, a whole, you, you have the trifecta right there. But besides that, Kenny King, if anything, I don't really know if they're going to let him since he is one half of the tag team champions in Ring of Honor. I don't really know about that, but I believe that he might win the whole thing if that is 
you know, what they're planning for. Because it would make perfect sense. And with the Ring of Honor reunion of Austin Aries and Kenny King, that would make the best sense in the world to make him the champion. Again, and this is a big if, the working relationship between Ring of Honor and TNA. Because we know because we know Ring of Honor and OVW have a working relationship, but does that also extend to TNA? Can you have stars like Kenny King, stars like Austin Aries, stars like, and I don't fucking know why, but Delirious, since he, I think he's working behind him, that company, and Shikara. No, but you have so many great talents. I mean, Mike Bennett, you have fucking Jay Lethal, who they got rid of in TNA. You have, let me see, Kevin Steen. I, f and, I mean, there's a whole list, and I'm not going to go through all of them, because Ring of Honor has some of the best talent in the world. But, this is just a big question mark on the whole thing. Will they allow him to win the title? Will they let him win the whole shebang? Because Kenny King can win the entire thing, but the only thing that worries me here is Flip Casanova. Those two are my picks at this point. Because the others really deserve it, but you can't really predict this, these kind of matches, including the Ultimate X match. So at this point, Destination X is this Sunday. But who will win the X Division Championship? Who will lead the X Division to the new generation? There's only one way to find out and watch it this Sunday. I have not been this excited of a TNA pay-per-view in a long time. And this probably is the one to buy. That is, if you buy this shit anyway. Because shit happens, and so does TNA. Get a fucking stream for all I care.